Katrina, I want to show you something here. Okay. When I tap on this little circular arrow button in the upper left-hand corner, mm -hmm. it's going to do a quick sync. It's going to pull in any new information into my account. Okay. And we get this syncing please wait. This spins for just about a second, mm -hmm. two seconds. It's very, very quick. And I'm in an office with lots of projects, um, lots of changes, and you may notice uh, within your account that that little sync dialog will come up from time to time. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes the syncing takes a little longer. Uh, the reason I wanted to show you that is just to see how quickly things will sync when you're on a good internet connection. Gotcha. Most of the issues that any of our customers have when it comes to um, you know, little frustrations that they have with, you, with using RoofSnap has to do in some way with their internet connection. Sure. Let's start by our first recommendation. Come over to your browser, I'm in Chrome, and just search for speed test. The first thing that's gonna come up is Google's search result speed test. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and tap on that. We're gonna run a speed test here. Now, some people will have 100 megs or more. We have a really fast speed, of course, here in the office. We're at 105 down. Uh, and I imagine our up's gonna be somewhere between 10 and 20. If your speeds are below 10 for the down, uh, or below one for the up, or two for the up, um, you can definitely chalk up your issues <laughs> to having some sort of um, internet, internet speed issues. Sure. Um, that being said, try to get on a better, maybe you're on 3G, try to get on a better LG, LG connection. Mm -hmm. um, um, if you're on your company Wi-Fi, maybe talk to an administrator about um, you know, restarting the modem. Mm -hmm. uh, or having your IT department take a look at um, what, what, what kind of settings there are for the bandwidth that's allowed for mobile devices, uh, things like that. When your speed is exceptional, like ours is here, um, one of the other things to look at might be device performance. Uh, so there's a few recommendations that we have. Um, first thing, come here to the home button on your iPad. Mm -hmm. And double click on that. Double click on that. And you see how it pulls up. These are all the apps that I have open. Now this isn't that many, but RoofSnap does require some processing power when it's uh, you know communicating all that information back and forth to the servers and when you're measuring out your roofs. Uh, so go ahead and close as many apps as you can. Uh, so that way you're just left with RoofSnap. Closing all of those unused apps uh, will let RoofSnap have all that processing power that your wonderful iPad has to offer. Perfect. The next recommendation that we have, Katrina, mm -hmm. is to check and make sure you're on the most recent version of iOS. Mm -hmm. um, let me show you what that's going to look like. So when you go into your settings screen here, now I am on the most recent version, so I'm not seeing an iOS update. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't updated to the most recent version, you're going to see something like this. Yes. It's going to give you a recommendation to update your software. Of course, this is iOS 8. This is a really old image. Um, but that's what you're going to be looking for. Under general software update, and it's going to have that update ready for you. Please install your updates. Keep your iPad up to date. That's going to make RoofSnap and every other app on your device run much better. Absolutely. Preferably when you have a, a good Wi-Fi connection, maybe do it before you're out in the field. Absolutely. Now, the next thing you're going to want to check, of course, is to come down here in RoofSnap and tap on the little I button next to your company name. And you'll see that it will tell you the app version. So we're on 1.8.11, mm -hmm. which is uh, actually one version ahead of what's out there in the world. And of course, it's also showing our iOS version, 11.4.1. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, if you're watching this video in the late summer months of 2018, 11.4.1 is good. If it's the winter months of 2018 or spring of 2019 and you're watching this video, you might want to update your RoofSnap app. <laughs> Definitely. Just go right into your app store and you can search for RoofSnap. And of course, once you've searched for RoofSnap here, if there is an update, the word update will be right here next to the app, and you can tap on that and get the most recent version of RoofSnap. Now, the next suggestion I have, Katrina, applies to when you're ordering a Sketchos from your iPad. Okay. Uh, if you remember from a previous video, that opens up the web app in Safari, mm -hmm. your browser. So if you're using Safari and you're having any issue with 
the page not loading quickly, one of the things that we recommend is um, to clear out all that data. Sure. Now you don't actually do that from within Safari. You'll need to go back to your home screen and open up your settings uh, icon again. Gotcha. Scroll down and you'll begin to see the names of all of the apps that you have, but I think the system app here for Safari is gonna be right up here, uh, yeah, right up here in between Maps and News. Select Safari and then scroll down past all of these button settings and you're gonna see this clear history and website data. Go ahead and tap on that. Then tap on clear and it's gonna get rid of all those cookies. Mm. All of those saved pages, cached pages, all of the uh, clutter in your browser. Gotcha. And that's gonna help Safari perform much better. Wonderful. Now, last but not least, if you're like me, Maybe you don't turn your devices off very often. iOS devices don't like that. <laughs> my, my iPhone, I probably hadn't turned it off for three weeks mm -hmm. and it started freaking out. <laughs> and as soon as I powered it down and turned it back on, it was like a brand new phone. They got a rest too. Yeah, and that's how most I, uh, iOS devices are. Mm -hmm. So here on the iPad, uh, if you can see my fingers here, I have a little button right here on the side. So. If, if we're looking at the home screen, it's the top to the right corner. If I press and hold on that for just about two, three seconds, it's gonna give me that slide to power off. Perfect. And I know some people who have never powered down their iPad. Yeah. They just plug it in at night and that's okay. So go ahead and slide to power off. Then just press this little button here again in the upper left hand corner for just about a second mm -hmm. and your device will power right back on again and it'll be ready to perform at its best having just dumped all of that stored information. Wonderful, and if you have any additional questions uh, or need any help, please call us at 877-ROOF-SNAP. We'd love to help you.